Perfect metaphor for this 25-year-old from DeSoto. DFW is sleeping on one of boxing's biggest stars. I mean, five years old, he was out there playing soccer and he just wanted to win. He had to have the ball. And after his games, people would come up to him and ask him for autographs. That's how, you know, he, he was always good at sports. He's one of the most talked about fighters in boxing, hands down, who's not a champion, which is very impressive. But that may change by this time next year. It's a journey that started in South Dallas, but truly took off across the pond at the 2012 Olympic Games in London. The pursuit of gold ended in controversy. And I beat him clearly. Everybody thought I won. Even the referee raised my hand before he raised his hand. The judges shockingly ruled in favor of Spence's opponent, even though the Texan clearly won the fight. Tears of disappointment ran down his face, but after the governing body of amateur boxing reviewed the fight video, they overturned the ruling. A disheartened Spence lost in the following round. Um, at that point, I was kind of, I was hurt. You know, I was crying a lot and I was hurt. So it was when they reinstated me back in, I didn't feel the same. But, you know, everything happened for a reason, I think, you know, that's why I'm in the position that I am now. Coming up on a minute to go in this third round, it's all Spence and it's all over. Two good body shot, a right Stop. to the head, that's it. And that was a great left hand. It is over. The southpaw turned pro immediately after and he hasn't lost since. His Olympic story and early professional success grabbed the attention of the best boxer in the world. Floyd Mayweather Jr. asked for Spence's help to train for a championship fight. Legend has it, Spence gave the champ all he can handle, including a black eye. You know, at first I came in, kind of caught me off guard. I said, okay, I see, I see. When I got in the ring with Floyd and I was going tick for tack with him and you know, we was going eight, ten rounds, and um, I just knew, I was like, man, if I can do this for Floyd, I can do this for anybody. A guy people have called the next Floyd Mayweather. He's now 18-0 with 15 knockouts after an impressive win in mid-September. The stage is set for Spence after Mayweather's recent retirement. The DeSoto boxer is likely one victory away from a title shot for his mentor's championship belt. Errol Spence Jr. They say the next Floyd Mayweather. That was an impressive performance. Now, if those guys want to step up and fight him for one of my belts, they can do that. If not, he's going to fight another opponent. But I'm, I'm going to make sure he's going to fight for that title. If Floyd destroyed guys in sparring and dis destroyed ex-world champions in sparring, and I'm doing this great with him, you know, I, you know, my ceiling is high. I can be just as great as Floyd Mayweather. He's on a dream run, one that includes many restless, hard-working nights. It's a path he takes alone, but a path worth fighting for. David Watkins, NBC5 Sports.